I'm Brienne. And I'm Maxwell. Welcome, Welcome to, to Seriously, Seriously Serial. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon, we now post two episodes every Saturday. You can support the show for as little as two dollars a month and get awesome rewards. Do you like your cereal dry? Then you're a snacker. Or do you prefer with milk? Then you're a spooner. Today's cereal is... Lucky Charms. Versus Marshmallow Mateys. It's Seriously Cereal Versus, versus Mode! mode. So we've nice. got a little bag of Lucky Charms, and we've got the generic version, Marshmallow Mateys. So, yeah, this is like, I guess, Lucky slash Leprechaun theme. This is pirate theme, I guess? Yep. But marshmallows don't really look pirate Marshmallow Mateys, well, there's like, there's a turtle and a wave a, and I a fish. I can't even tell what like half of that's supposed know. to be. I don't know, it's ocean things. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think this is a starfish. But yeah, I think it's supposed to be... And flowers on like suns, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if we get all of these up to the camera, uh, what I'm noticing right off the bat is that the, the Lucky Charms are the little non-marshmallows are a lot puffier in Zero. marshmallow mateys. Yeah, the marshmallow mateys are super, super puffy. Um, but they are really cute. They have little anchors. The cereal is puffier, but they do definitely resemble each other. They do, they do. Um, I'll say again, it's a case of a generic brand being a little, like, paler in general. A little bit, yeah. The marshmallows look about the same, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, like, very chalky, powdery kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and about the same dehydrated size. Dehydrated marshmallow. Yeah. It's a sort of different mm -hmm. shape, which makes me wonder if, like, you could get these marshmallows, if these like manufacturers like can just bot commission these marshmallows or whatever. Anchors away, set sail on an adventure with marshmallow manies. Alright, cool. <laughs> Both of these were one dollar for our local uh, Dollar Tree, which is basically where everything is one dollar. So you can pick up either of these, you know, for the same price. So mm -hmm. that's a good deal. I think Walmart also carries this brand. Yeah. Malta Meal. They have a lot of like. It's the uh, the big bags though, usually there. Yeah, they have they have like a lot of like great bag stuff because that's their little brand. Mm -hmm. Looks like though this actually recommends other cereals. Yeah, like, these are other ones by Malta yeah, Meal. Cinnamon toasters. We've we've purchased all of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're looking forward to trying those. The frosted mini spooners. Yes, both. We those always are, get those. Those are gonna be interesting because those are very different. But uh, back to mm -hmm. Lucky Charms. This is all like the traditional marshmallows you know. It's new yeah, it's not the unicorn one, which is the yeah. new one. This is like the old school one. Hmm. Now this is like the plastic shapes. It's all the marshmallows you know, but like this is not. It's like the uh, current shapes. It's so it's not like. Off brand. This is actually like mm -hmm. Lucky Charms for And it dollars. does, like, they're not on the bag, but it, it is the new one. It has the unicorns in there. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's like the, like, which one the we, Yeah, we were taking some pictures of them earlier and we saw um, the unicorns in there. But we didn't end up in any in this particular bowl. Yeah. But they are definitely. Back we're missing a lot of the shapes. Like, I don't see, uh, don't seem to see any hourglasses as a shooting star, but I don't I don't think that I don't even know that the hourglass is still a shape. I oh, think no, this that? this is one of oh, Yeah, because it's like not. pots of there's pots of gold and there's unicorns now. Okay. There's like a shape of it on the back though, I think. Well yeah, so the packaging doesn't have the unicorn and stuff. The packaging oh. is actually the old packaging. Which makes me wonder. Well, it's good till November of this year. Yeah, we've got the time. <laughs> but, you know, if you print too many packages, then you have to use them and you can sell them at the dollar store. <laughs> um, which is a lot of the kind of dollar stuff, dollar store kind of stuff that we find is there's nothing wrong with it. It just, they might have a manufacturing yeah. defect or be an old version, an old mm -hmm. version of something. Yeah. Or yeah. the generic, or this isn't really generic, it's Malto Meal, which is actually a fairly large brand. Yeah, it's just like... But it's just like, it's the off brand, it's not Kellogg's yeah. and Post, mm -hmm. so, you know. I gotta say, <laughs> um, one thing I like about Lucky Charms is that is the odiness of the regular cereal, which it feels so weird to say, calling that cereal, because I just, like, associate the whole as a cereal, you know? Mm -hmm. but, but that is the yeah, cereal. It's cereal like, with marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, like I like the odiness of the cereal combined with the super sweetness of the marshmallows, but like counteract each other very nicely. Mm -hmm. Looking at the uh, marshmallow maize, it almost looks like the, the cereal is going to be way too airy just because they are like puffed up. So I'm very curious to try these. Uh, should we dive right in? All right, let's do it. All right. Okay, Laura. 
one, here we go. Tastes like pretty classic Lucky Charms. Yeah, it's like that like OD Cheerio mess and then mm -hmm. occasional like marshmallow sweetness. Yeah, get some marshmallows. <laughs> I want to say that the taste lingers a little bit more, which is actually kind of pleasant. More than... Than like I'm used to with Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. Going from cuts alone, the, the pieces do seem to be the average size of Lucky Charms, so this mm -hmm. might just be, you know, I haven't had them in a little bit. Yeah, I really can't tell. If I had to make a guess, I'm gonna say that these are, you know, actually, they kind of taste like Kicks. Like that cereal, the spherical cereal looks mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, I know For some reason, I always confuse those in Corn Pops. Mm. I don't know why. But if I had to guess, I'm going to say this is the original. Mm-hmm. It sure tastes like it. Yeah. Okay. Way denser. Mm. This is very different. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as oaty. I can definitely taste more sugar. These do feel puffed, so I think this is the malto meal one. It's not as crispy. It is like, it's a little more like chewy. A little bit, mm -hmm. but not really. Not yeah, not bad. Like, it's not stale. Mm -hmm. I just dropped one. <laughs> it almost tastes like there's some rice in there or something. Yeah, yes, yeah. Like rice krispies almost, actually. Yeah. Like the cereal, not the mm -hmm. rice yeah. treat. Yeah, this is not the Lucky Charms. Yeah, it's like rice krispie mm -hmm. treats made into a like bigger cereal. Mm hmm. I think dropping cereal. <laughs> I think that one I look for. Seems like there's a lot more marshmallows here, or about like might just be coincidence. You just got the right bowl. <laughs> I keep trying to look down at the bowl. <laughs> it doesn't help. Well, I mean, it gets your mouth closer to the bowl. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm like bending over, like getting, you know, the less space my this spoon has to travel to get to my mouth, the, the less milk I'm spilling, you know? Yeah, it really is like uh, Rice Krispies. You're absolutely right. It's like rice. It's not bad though. The marshmallow is like a little sweeter. Base. Uh, it just tastes like sugar to me. They have a bit of an artificial taste to them. Mm -hmm. Like the dot, like that dye taste, but mm -hmm. very subtle. Not like overpoweringly so. Like not even on like a crunch berry level. It's just, it, I think I'm tasting that. It does get good. It's definitely not bad though. Mm -mm. It's different. It's less like they're trying to copy this and more like their own take almost. Mm hmm. It's different, but I, I mm -hmm. actually like it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. All right, um, okay. as a spooner, these are actually pretty tied for me. I'm gonna give both of them a four, a pretty optimistic four too. Uh, the first, I'm gonna say bowl number one was definitely Lucky Charms. It was smaller, it was a little crunch, the cereal was a little crunchier. I mean, the cereal was smaller. The marshmallows of the cereal were probably kind of well, and there wasn't very much of a like dye taste as there was with bowl two, which seemed to come from the marshmallows. I've got to say, I mean, it would be weird if it came from this like cereal itself, but uh, bowl there was a little difference. I think I'm just gonna chalk that up to my memory, and I'm gonna say that's that's definitely not the charms. Number two, I'm gonna say is uh, marshmallow babies. The cereal pieces felt bigger, very definitely felt puffed, a little more hollow or chewy as opposed to. Lucky Charms is like crunch, uh, and their marshmallows had a little bit of like an artificial dye taste, but I actually didn't mind that so much because it was so subdued. And I, I honestly really like the puffed take on the cereal, as mm -hmm. opposed to like the OD like Cheerios take. Both of them, the marshmallows and the cereal complement each other very well. Yeah, four on both counts. I think for me, this type of cereal is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. Because I think the cereal aspect of it itself is not that great. Like the yeah. exciting thing about these is the marshmallows, mm -hmm. which I love marshmallows, but I don't think that the cereal is good enough to make it worth it to get it for the marshmallows. Yeah. So I think for me, I would give the first cereal a three. It was good. It was crunchy. I do think it was Lucky Charms. Um, the second one definitely was more puffy, a little bit denser, not quite as good. Like the taste, like I don't want to be dramatic and be like kind of cardboardy, but it was very bland and kind of an oaty, ricey. Like oats have good flavor, but I don't know if there is. I'd have to look at the ingredients, but there was something different, like maybe less toasted, something like that. There was a flavor difference that was, and something that was missing. So I think for those ones, for number two, I would give that a two. Okay, that's, that sounds good to me. So, uh, should we see what you, each bowl weighs? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, there it is. 
Looks like we were right this time. So what would you say in terms of like recommendations for these? Would you like recommend one, not the other, or like? I would say either. I personally like the Lucky Charms a little bit more, but I think they're both good. I think it just depends on what you feel like, what's available, what's a good price point. I mean, I know for me, looking at cereals, I'm always aware of that. I would, yeah. I would say uh, something a little similar, but keep in mind that these are very different. Like, you could substitute one for the other if that's all you've got, but they are very different. Like, Lucky Charms, again, it has more crunch, Marshmallow Mateys has uh, a little more of an artificial taste, and they're, they're, they're a little more, like, they're clearly puffed, but both of them are good, unique takes on the same, I guess, like, Serial idea. idea, yeah, concept. Yeah. And both of them are adorable in their own ways. So mm -hmm. I'd say if you haven't tried marshmallow babies or you know, give them a try. Yeah. yeah. Try both, see what you see what you prefer and you know, then see put see that one out. Yeah, I'm good. Have you tried the cereal? What did you think of it? Find out more about Sears and Cereal at our website. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.